These are the two scales commonly used to record temperature. The freezing point or the lowest point for a centigrade scale is zero degrees Celsius. While in Fahrenheit, the freezing point or the lowest point is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But the boiling point, which is also called the highest point for a degree centigrade scale is 100 degrees Celsius. And um, in Fahrenheit, it is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It is something like this. Let's take this to be the centigrade scale and this the Fahrenheit scale. Here is the lowest point, which is the, the freezing point. And for centigrade scale, it is zero degrees Celsius. And the highest point here is 100 degrees Celsius. And for the Fahrenheit, we have 32 degrees Fahrenheit for the lowest or the freezing point, but for the boiling point, we have 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the instrument for measuring or taking temperature record is a thermometer. And we usually have the maximum and minimum thermometer, as shown in uh, the figure 20 and um, these scales can be converted from one to the other and quickly we will look at the scale conversion consider the following formula temperature in degrees celsius equals to Temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. Also consider this formula, let it be 1 and let this be 2. Temperature in degrees Celsius equals to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 minus 32 divided by 9 all over 5 divided by 9 all over 5 the difference is in the multiplication and in the division so that changes the position of 5 and 9 5 was on top but now it is at the bottom now let's consider the three relationship or the third formula now Temperature in degrees Celsius equals to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times or uh, divided by 1.8. As we progress, we'll see the relationship of this figure or value 1.8 divided by 1.8. This is the three possible formula we can use in converting from one temperature scale to the other, maybe from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit or the other way around. Let's consider this example. Convert 50 degrees Fahrenheit to centigrade solution. Let's take or make use of the first formula, which is uh, temperature in degrees Celsius equals to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9, which equals to temperature in degrees Celsius 
equals to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9 times 5 over 9. The question says convert 50 degrees Fahrenheit to centigrade. So the temperature here is in Fahrenheit and we have 50. 50 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. 50 minus 32 will give us 18. Or equals to 18 times 5 over 9. If you do that multiplication, you will have 10 degrees Celsius. Now, Another example says, convert 16 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. In this case, we are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. But in this case, we want to convert from Celsius, that's from centigrade scale to Fahrenheit scale. And um, the solution, it will have temperature in degrees Celsius, I want to adopt the last formula that we were given, which is temperature in degrees Celsius equals to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 all over 1.8 and the question says convert 16 degrees degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit and um, the formula we are adopting is the third one which is temperature in degrees Celsius equals to temperature in Fahrenheit scale minus 32 divided by 1.8. Now, if you cross multiply, or even insert the 16 degrees, which is given already, this is what you have, because it is in degrees Celsius. 16 degrees Celsius will give us temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we are looking for, minus 32 divided by 1.8. From this step, you cross multiply. What you have is degrees Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. Will be equals to 16 times 1.8. 16 times 1.8. Now, from here, 16 times 1.8 will give us 28.8. 28. We go further. Now, to make degrees Fahrenheit the subject of formula, minus 32 crosses over the equal sign to the other side and it becomes plus 32. In degrees Fahrenheit equals to 28.8 plus 32 
that will be equal to 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, we can say that 16 degrees Celsius equals to 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. We have succeeded in converting from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit scheme. Now, thermometers are usually kept in standard shelter called Stevenson screen. This is to make sure that we obtain accurate readings while we are trying to take readings using the thermometer and also to protect them from the effect of sun and rain. Just like we did some calculations involving rainfall data, we are also going to do some simple calculation involving temperature data. And we have an example here that says, from the table below, calculate the following. A, the month with the highest temperature. B, the month with the lowest temperature. C, the month or annual range of temperature. D, annual temperature. And E, mean annual temperature.